Well, speaking of the nation's sluggish economic growth, Korea's growth rate has remained in the, in the zero percent range for the second straight quarter. The slowing growth, prompted by sluggish demand at home and abroad, is raising concerns that this low growth trend may become a long-term trend. Our Hwang Ji-hae has the numbers and more. Growth in Korea's economy has slowed again for another quarter. The Bank of Korea says the country's GDP expanded just 0.4 percent in the first three months of this year from the previous quarter. This marks a slowdown from the 0.7 percent growth posted a quarter before and is equal to the pace of expansion recorded when the country was hit hard by a MERS outbreak. Dragged down by faltering exports and dull domestic demand, the first quarter growth figure came in low despite aggressive government spending. The government front-loaded its budget in the first quarter, which pulled up investments in social overhead capital. The government's spending and investments contributed greatly to first quarter growth. With that, construction investment went up almost 6 percent, while facilities investment plunged. Exports that have been on a downslide for over a year now dropped 1.7 percent, and private consumption also dipped. Citing weak first quarter performance figures, Korea's central bank trimmed its latest forecast for growth to below 3 percent. This has further stoked worries of Korea falling into a low growth trap, a reason why some analysts see more expansionary measures down the road. The best scenario for the Korean economy this year will be growing at around the same level as last year, but most private institutions don't see that happening. That means the country needs a more aggressive fiscal policy compared to last year's extra budget. But with the central bank for now saying that the economy will show signs of gradual recovery this quarter, economists say more monitoring should come ahead of a supplementary budget or a key rate cut. And facing skepticism that a rate cut will not be a cure-all for conditions that mostly stem from structural issues, experts say the Bank of Korea will remain cautious about moving the rate that already sits at a record low 1.5%. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.